What's up YouTube, I'm Anush Patel from AndroidRoots.com and let's go ahead and take a look at Bobcat ROM for the Nexus 5. This ROM is themed up with mods and with over there updates so I know a lot of people are going to like this ROM just because it changes the whole look of the AOSP feel and look. I know it can get really old, I know I get bored of it sometimes, just the AOSP normal look. Um, so this can really change it up and spice up your ROM um, in a lot of ways. Um, so first of all as you can see you get a nice hint of the theme uh, with the wallpaper, a black and blue UI theme you'll see throughout this whole video uh, so if you go and swipe up from the notifications you got a nice blue bar right there too nothing too fancy here you'll see custom modifications or um, icons for brightness settings location Bluetooth airplane mode too if you go ahead and dive into settings that is where you see a lot of modifications of themes right here so you can see all the icons are changed up a black and blue in the background right there um, all the labeling is a little bit different too. Scroll bar, scroll bar is blue too. So it's really nice if you want to go and change it up just a little bit um, and make it feel a little bit different than just a you know plain old boring AOSP. You know, can get boring. You know that. <laughs> At least for me, it does. Um, so let's go ahead and go under extra settings, Bobcat ROM right here, and you have a lot of options. And here's over there update. I know a lot of people crave this, so here you guys go a ROM with over there update with themes and mods too. So hopefully this should satisfy your craving for the over over there update you also have about so be sure to support the developer and anyone else who contributed to this ROM uh, supporters right there I'm sorry about just <laughs> just about under supporters right there um, right there <laughs> and then restart menu also one thing to note under restart menu once you do make any modifications to UI which I'll be showing you in just a little bit like to battery mod or a notification center at the top. Uh, make sure to restart the UI or the changes won't come into effect if you don't do the first part, this top thing. So make the changes, come back here and then restart the system UI to see those changes actually be working. Um, I just figured that out recently. Um, and you also have utility, oh, not uh, right here, utility. So you have ES File Explorer, all this other great stuff too. Um, CPU monitor, which is pretty important if you like gaming or benchmark or anything like that, or if your battery's being drained a lot, you can find out why uh, through that. Uh, modules right here too, so you know if you want to change that up, uh, DPI, all that other great stuff too. Um, and Greenify will help you save battery, so go ahead and look at that application if you want to go and save a little bit of battery. You can take a look at that, try it out. And let's go ahead under extra settings, and um, I tried Gravity Box, but it crashed for me for whatever reason. I tried a couple times, it just didn't work, um, it's alright. Um, but under battery bar, let's go and take a look at that real quick. Um, as you can see right now, I changed my battery bar to a red bar right here. So once again, make the changes, then restart the system UI or it won't work. It won't take an effect. So <clears throat> there we go. So you can do show or hide if you'd like. Uh, just have to reset the system UI. Um, you can animate it, change the color automatically or have a static color. Like I have a static color, which is just red. Um, change the color for charging and then regular also and also i believe um pulse mode um i know somewhere i saw that you could change the um temperature if you want to change it for the temperature or something like that too um i forgot where that was but i know it's somewhere here i just looked at it a few minutes ago um but you have all these other options too so low color level cut off and all that too so right there it's pretty interesting if you don't have a battery bar up there um, now we can go ahead and take a look at notification toggles too, and then tap on settings right here. And you have all these options for notification toggles too. Oh, okay, so here is where I saw the temperature. So right here, temperature unit um, right there. So Celsius, if you want to enable it, just restart the system UI. <laughs> I keep repeating that because I know a lot of people are going to ask me it's not working. So restart the system UI after you make the changes or it's not going to work. <laughs> um, and you also have one other neat thing is you can back up and restore the settings. So let's say um, you backed it up, you did a factory reset, or something went wrong, or you know you unrooted it, got a new Nexus 5, whatever. You can go and re uh, restore those settings so you don't have to waste your time uh, setting up the same settings again. Uh, just easily restore it. Uh, very, very convenient too. If you do that often, I really don't. But if you do, there you go. Um, you have all these other options too. I'm not going to go into it as you can just see it. Um, I know it gets really repetitive too. The main reason why you want to go and install this ROM is for the themes and mods right there and over their update, which is very important for a lot of people. There you guys go, Bobcat ROM for your Nexus 5 device. If you guys enjoyed this ROM review, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner right there. Appreciate all that support, guys. Link down below where you can go ahead and download Bobcat ROM for the Nexus 5. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my other social networks. Links are down below for that as well. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.